Hey guys, so today I'm installing a wig from Harris Market. They were kind enough to send over this beautiful highlight blonde wig for me to try for you all today. They also included some great gadgets that you can use um, when installing your unit that give you a wig cap, um, edge brush, and a satin wrap as well. So this is what the inside of the unit looks like. I do have lace closure space to work with, which I am a huge fan of lace closures because I feel like they're a great step up if you are a beginner and you want to get into like experimenting with lace. Lace closure would be great to start off with. And then, of course, you can maneuver your way up into a lace frontal um, once you get pretty comfortable with this lace closure. But I'm so I'm going to show you all today how I install this lace closure wig glueless. Yes, you heard that right. Glueless. And it's going to look completely blended and it looks like scalp. OK, so let's go ahead and get started. So my key step with making my wigs glueless, you know, wear them comfortable so you can make sure that like, they are stuck in place, not going to move or budge at all during the time frame of you wearing your unit is to do the cross method in the back with those adjustable bands, making them tighter so it's like a very snug feel onto your head. And then we'll move on to the lace. So my first step always is my hot comb. My hot comb is key. It just helps with molding your wig so you can see what you're working with, see what you're going to do in terms of styling it and installing it. The next key product I use is my edge tamer, my flyaway tamer. It makes your hair flatter with the extra product and that hot comb. It also gives it more of a silky look. It just looks hydrated and it looks like healthy hair. So since this unit is a little bit more full in that front area and we want it to look like scalp, I am going to just part out a piece of the hair in the front and we're going to go to town and we're going to pluck out the sides of this closure and just make sure it is giving nothing but scalp. And plucking definitely takes some time, y'all. So be patient with it. Focus on it because you don't want to add any holes to the closure um, or to your lace in general because those are pretty difficult to repair um, if you do choose to repair them. And you just don't want holes in your lace, you know. So make sure you just really concentrate, go slow, focus, and don't pull or tug too extremely hard. So um, I'll stop periodically in between my plucking and just kind of brush it out just to see what I'm working with. Also moving back to that hot comb, it can help you see what your progress is looking like. So you can see if you want to pluck some more or leave it as is. And mine look pretty good from that first little setting there. Um, and I'm going to add a little bit of makeup there um, before cutting that lace off just to make sure it's all blended. And then I'm just going to pull up the baby hairs out of the way that I'm going to cut eventually and get this lace cut off. All right, so this is what the unit looks like after I've gotten it plucked and the lace cut off. And as you can see, it is giving very much so scalp. Like this process, I highly recommend. And it's great for beginners, especially um, if you are trying to get into lace, you know, just starting out closures and this method to get your wig looking natural, I highly recommend. 
And since, you know, these are wigs, we can't grow the hair back out. I always start off with cutting my baby hairs a little bit on the longer side. And I do style them with them being longer. And then if I need to cut any more, I'll just cut it after styling. Um, that's just to make sure that I never cut my baby hairs too short. And I'll be using this product today. This is the Slicked um, like Hair Gel from Aunt Jackie's. And I use the comb in and brush in um, to get those baby hairs into place. And I do go back and forth with both of them until I get like the desired baby hair suit I'm looking for. I absolutely despise baby hairs because they're always playing with me and I'll be having to spend so much freaking time on them and I'll just be getting upset. So yeah but you know sometimes they come together but these baby hairs they be trying me they definitely be trying me all right so this is what we're looking like so far and y'all see that it is looking very 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 good we have no additional adhesive spray nothing holding that wig in place all we did was pluck it and it is giving very much so scalp so my last step is to always go back in with my hot comb. That little extra heat that you put right there in your closure area will really, really help with just getting it in place and how you want it to look. And you can, um, you can just like add some water to this texture here or you got some mousse, whatever you would like. I wanted to leave mine in this like more natural state because it does keep that density pretty high. So it doesn't make the hair look thin. Um, of course, if you put product in it and let it dry, it should get that density back up and like kind of poof it up a little bit more. But I left it in the natural state and I absolutely love it. I'm going to add a little bit of makeup to that parting space. And then, of course, go back over with my hot comb. Those last final steps, just making sure it's nice and molded where I want it to be. And that was pretty much it with that process. And you guys can see what that unit looks like when I pick it up off my head and put it back down. It is giving. Absolutely giving. I love it. So this is the ending look of today's video. You guys, let me know what you think about this hair. Um, would you try this method with wearing your wigs clueless? Let your girl know. If you are interested in this unit, make sure you check out my description bar below. I will have a direct link there for you all um, so you can shop their hair. And get you this bomb highlighted wig, okay? Let's be styling this winter. Thanks y'all so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye y'all.